Well, it's a time between just me and the Lord and no one else. So time when I'm not thinking about things of the world or what's going on in my life, if that what I need to do next. Uh, a time when I can totally concentrate just on Him and not on washing dishes, cleaning house. Last October 17th, uh, it was a time in my life when things were very hectic and, and going on. And I asked the Lord then, I said, uh, is there something that I should be giving up? Uh, because I do teach Sunday school, I lead Bible study, and I do devotions in X, Y, Z. And so I thought, well, maybe at my age and time, and you know, he just spoke to me plain and clear that uh, he would give me the strength that I could do all things in Christ Jesus that gives me strength. Then this December, it was again, it was very hectic and very much the same question over. Life was just seemed like I didn't have enough time. And so I asked him again, and I shared this with my Sunday school class. He spoke to me so plain and so clearly that no, when I'm ready for you to quit, I'll tell you. And then he gave me a scripture and it was in Isaiah. Uh, and it says 46, four, and it says, even to your old age, I am he. And even to your gray hairs, will I carry you? He said, I've made you and I will bear you. Even I will carry you and deliver you. So actually what he said is no, when I'm ready for you to give up anything, I will tell you. And it was like the Holy Spirit. It was almost like an audible voice. It wasn't, but that's how clear he spoke to me. I do my quiet time in the morning. I used to many years ago, would do it in the evening. And a lot of times you're tired and uh, you just uh, don't spend as much time with him as you really should. And if it's five minutes or an hour, it doesn't matter, but you need to be clear of mind. And so I started about 1970 of spending my quiet time with him in the morning. Uh, I go in and have a cup of coffee with my husband and sit with him for a little bit. And then I get up and go back to a chair, a recliner in my bedroom and sit back there. Uh, I use open windows which is from the church. I also have devotion books. Uh, a friend here at church gave me a devotion book, uh, Elaine Warren. Uh, my son died in May and she had given it to me and so I used that. Uh, so I always have a devotion book that I use. Uh, I spend that time with the Lord and I pray and uh, first I read my devotion and uh, then I, I have a list because it got so long <laughs> to be sure I don't leave anybody out. And it's in my journal. And uh, I also journal, but I'm not good at it. I journal every day for a month or a week or six months, and then I put it aside. But I do spend anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour every morning. And like this morning, I had to leave home early. And so I only had 20 minutes. But you know, if you ask God to put the time there, I always have the time. I don't care where I'm going or what I'm doing. He stretches my time for me. 